I'm going to be very candid and frank with you. I don't want to show to be honest with you because I'm always honest with the audience. But sometimes I hold back the full truth because I don't want to be alarmist. But I am so angry right now that I am beyond even physically showing it. I am so sick of our criminal government. I am so sick of the criminal special interest that would burn the country down if it gave them more power. And I am so sick of the compartmentalization where you can't even really hate the average big corporation or the average police officer or the average bureaucrat because they're just compartmentalized and know less than we do. They're not part of it. It's how big and complex the world is allows these con artists and these crisis creators, these wreckers, these vultures, to literally sabotage and screw our society over. 30 years ago, if there was an FAA air traffic disaster, people were fired. And if it happened again, they would fire the head of the FAA. In third world countries, if a dam broke and killed people, they would fire the head of the dam and sometimes uh, arrest them. Now, when there's melamine in the milk in the U.S., nobody gets in trouble. They execute people in China for that. When our government screws up on purpose in Katrina and orders a stand down and a bunch of people die, FEMA got double the funding the next year in Congress for disaster relief. What does that incentivize? Screwing up. And then I see all the Bill and Melinda Gates, Monsanto preparation, like chickens with their heads cut off the last two years on Ebola and Ebola vaccines that are really live virus, nanotech, super science stuff. From eugenicists that run Planned Parenthood and, and fund all the big gun control groups and openly say they want to break up the family, hardcore psychopath, exterminist, beyond anything you'll ever see in a movie or read in a book, they make Hitler look unsophisticated. And then, I mean, I, mean, I make a statement like that and I think of all the data to prove it and it makes my head spin. It makes my head swim. The Rockefellers that run the big tax-free foundations and, and run that whole program since 1906 and run the Bill and Melinda Gates and Warren Buffett Foundation, on record, funded the entire Nazi movement, the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, everything. They run modern education. They founded the UN, gave them the property for it. They run every North American union, every Asia PAC union group. They run everything, along with the British and Dutch royal families and the Rothschilds. And they are flaming crazy people. Now, they would argue, no, we're in control and running the show, and we work 15 hours a day to do it. And it's actually true. I mean, I guess we've gotten to the point just seeding it all to them going, okay, you can bring Ebola in, you can forcibly inoculate, you can come out with aerosolized vaccines and vaccines and food we can't escape, and we can see them hurting everybody, and, and no one stands up to you, so maybe it is survival of the fittest. Maybe social Darwinism is true. It's a cult with these people. David Rockefeller, I've had top scientists on and people this happened to. would in the 70s and 60s and things just show up at a university. It wouldn't even be Harvard or Princeton or MIT. He showed up there too. And would just show up in the lunch line to recruit, you know, the, the, the top 20-year-old scientist. But they're obsessed with test scores and who's the smartest. And, and, and then they recruit him into this cult. And they even tried to recruit my dad. Uh, it wasn't David Rockefeller, but it was the head of the botany department into this literal eugenics cult. And I'm here... Telling you this, this this is not a game. Do you understand how evil these people are? So I don't know if they released this Ebola. I know it's mutating like it's never done before. Appears to be going airborne. And it kills 70% of people who get treatment in the West now. And more than that in Africa. And let me tell you, everybody thinks they're going to live forever. You think you're invincible? I buried three family members 
in the last 12 months killed by this mystery respiratory crap that's just common mutated staph bacteria in these hospitals. You go to the hospital to visit somebody, you get it, you die. Family comes to see you, they all get it, they start dying. And, and, and because it was a real plague and the hospital doctors said they'd never seen death like this and it was all over the country, nothing in the news except a few local papers saying a lot of deaths and the hospitals are overtaxed because when it's a real crisis, they don't tell you it's a real crisis. And when it's not a real crisis, they tell you it is by default. And we're watching in slow motion like a car wreck or like watching a kid strapped down by Ted Bundy have their fingernails torn out slowly. We are sitting here watching the government bring it in, watching the borders being wide open, watching the giant population being targeted by a tiny psycho elite who believe they're preparing to sweep the earth of the human disease, all their movies, all their TV shows, all their programs, lauding the world without humans, life after humans, all these preparations. I don't think... that this will probably even be the big one. As I've said for over a decade on air on this subject, I know how they work. I said they would do medium-sized and smaller bio-releases that kill thousands or hundreds of thousands in the West, millions in Africa, because that's where they've already gotten away with, you know, 45% of some African countries having HIV. They go check the um, sexual organs of the young girls. They've never had sex and then they tra tra trace it right back to the vaccines. Even BBC had to admit that. It's probably six, seven years ago. They're giving it to them. So where they've got air superiority, where they control the media, where they've got the people under their control, oh, it's just a bunch of Africans, kind of a deep-seated liberal racism, they can get away with giving 45% of the country HIV and killing them. But they'll have it rolled out as I predicted, with an Ebola or a SARS or a super flu that kills tens of thousands at first, then hundreds of thousands the next season, then a medical tyranny is put in place. Everyone accepts the government's the boss. They're in control. We've got to have total quarantine, total forced inoculation, or you don't want to happen what happened in 2015, do you? The winter of 2015, you know, where it spread all over the world and killed millions. I mean, you don't want that to happen again. You take your Bill and Melinda Gates shot, Alex Jones. And the public's not sophisticated enough to know they were behind the vaccine, behind the testing centers in the country where it began to go viral and spread and mutate and go from three days to 21 days so it can spread further and farther before it's identifiable. But I may be wrong. It could go airborne this year. And then 70% of the people that get it will die. We're talking potentially about billions of dead people. And now they've got the armored vehicles in place, the checkpoints, the surveillance, all of it. I kept telling you for years, really about 17 years on the eugenics end, 10 years deeply on it, that once they got their grid in place, once this system was in place, it would be the death of us all. You've got world leaders, Prince Charles, Prince Philip, Queen Beatrix, Ted Turner, David Rockefeller, Senator Rockefeller, all of them talking about how they want to kill everybody. And before you idiot trolls out there watching make jokes about me starting to break down, listen, I got three kids. And all you stupid trolls who think you have a death wish, you, you won't really have a death wish when you're flopping around with blood spraying out both ends. Let me tell you something. The New World Order wants us all dead, and this could be it. I told you Homeland Security wasn't for Al-Qaeda. I told you it was for the Tea Party and gun owners and veterans and people that won't roll over to whatever it is they got planned. And you got Dr. Pianca that gets these world awards, and it, at the time headed up the UT Biology Department, coming out and saying it's coming soon, the airborne Ebola. I'm sad for my family, but it must be done. 90-plus percent will die. I am ready. It is coming. And 90-plus percent of the people at the Texas Academy of Sciences in Houston stood and cried in up to five-minute standing ovations when he projected a wall of red skulls and said the mass death is coming. Young women, graduate students, ran and threw themselves at him like he was Elvis Presley or the Beatles. If my dad 
was in the top 125 test scores across the board in Texas, and then they took the top six or seven out of that and brought them in a room at the University of Texas and said, well, there's really a world government. We're forming a eugenics operation, and it's not like Hitler did it. It's going to be for the betterment of humanity. Of course, my dad ended up meeting my mom, getting married, going the quick route to medical school. Got it. He was never in all of it. But then he wondered why all over and over again the CIA would show up. We want you to work with us. We want you to work with us. We want you to work with us. It was only because he had been fingered early on, but he's not, nothing that special. I, out of Texas every year, they're pulling hundreds of people for this kind of stuff. They've got a huge army in on it. Do you understand that? Brought into it when they're 18 years old. They brought my dad in when he was a junior in high school. He was already in a summer program at UT when they brought him in. Little Davy Jones. You understand how widespread it is this? This is the real world, boys and girls. This is the real planet. This is where we live. And they wouldn't be doing this if they didn't think they could get away with it. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game changer that also supports the info war. We have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life.